Does the name Brigida Papabrock ring any bells? Rings bells, sets off whistles. Why? I believe my loins have grown warm. Touch my plums, touch my plums. Excuse me. Fruit witcher, especially fruit of the south. Tender, juicy, soft on the exterior. That's what I think of when you mention Dame Brigida. The woman is positively obsessed. I was hoping for a straighter answer. A man of your experience surely understands what I mean. Hmm. So you admit you know her well? I know her, I have known her, and I expect I yet will, and I'm not alone in that. Though, mind you, I admire the woman. Her kind of ambition is rare, among both genders. Ever taken advantage of that? Ever asked her to run errands for you? One must be careful with the ambitious. They are almost always running their own errands. Asking them to do yours simply invites them to use you. Baron Kimbolt learned that the hard way. But why ask me about the lass, here and now of all times and places? Surely, given your close allegiance and, no doubt, many a shared drinking binge, Commander Roach has told you all. Commander Roach can be strangely discreet. What do you know? I'm hardly one to tell another man's secrets. Indulge me. Uh, if you must know, the rascal Roach rogered our dear Brigida, just before he passed her off onto me, among others, with a purpose in mind, I suspect. He'll be interested to hear what you had to say. My, my, aren't we dutiful? Brigida used Baron Kimbolt? Continues to, I surmise. To what end? You cannot expect me to answer every little query that pops into your mind, Witcher. I believe there's been a misunderstanding, my lord. Get out, before I call my guards. And what might I convey? Nothing. Baron, sir, you gave your word. For the last time, out! Tend to this matter. Who was that thug I passed in the doorway? He's of no concern to you. People like him sometimes do stupid things. Did I ask for your opinion on the matter? The convoy carrying Anais and Busi was ambushed. Why? I'd like to know that myself. I've seen your letter to Horst Lubbock, the one in which you ordered him to abandon the planned route. Nonsense! I sent no such letter. The letter bears your seal and signature, Baron. Where is it? I have it. Show me. I need your promise. What? That I'll get the letter back. I tire of your tone, Witcher. Damn. So be it. I pledge to return the letter to you. I merely want to see this original with my own eyes. It is my seal, but the hand is forged, sloppily. Words come cheap, Baron. I'm finding it hard to believe you. I care little for what you believe. We are dealing with a forgery. Whoever is behind this has crossed a Temerian noble, and will be duly punished. My scribe will test the letter and confirm what I claim. 
my claim, my scribe, I'd hardly call that impartial. Maybe I should just deliver the letter to Natalis. Any accusation will be quickly dismissed. Heed my words, Witcher. It would be unwise of you to jump to any conclusions. Speak with my scribe. There are objective means of examining the letter's authenticity. I promise to pay you well for learning the truth. Hmm. The truth does taste better when payment's involved. It's you! The king of reagents? Drunker than a bard. Won't get anything out of him. Maybe there's something about testing letters in his notes. Calling me sauced? Nah. According to the scribe's notes, if this is Kimbolt's letter, the paper it's written on was treated with an invisible dye. An activator should bring out the dye, turning the paper blue. Now for the activator's formula. Better try it on some drafts first. How did it go? Light, quench, shit, rinse. Thus you will the facts evince. To read the truth by lies deformed, guano into piss transform. I need to make the substance that will bring out the dye and apply it to the letter. A little burnt lime. A bit of water. Everything's better with a dash of burnt guano. Wait for it to dissolve. I need to add burnt lime to the flask, then quench it with water. Add bird guano to that, heat it, then capture the vapors and run them through cold water to obtain the final substance. All right, let's try this on Kimbolt's letter. I need to make the substance that will bring out the dye and apply it to the letter. A little burnt lime, a bit of water, Everything's better with a dash of burnt water. Wait for it to dissolve. It smells like piss, but it worked. The sheet's orange, not blue. The letter's fake. Kimbolt had nothing to do with this. forged. Of course I was right. I would never seek to hurt Boosie. Bastard or not, he is still a child. Your payment, Witcher. I want you to look into another matter. What would it involve? Count Linus Maravel. You've heard the name? Young, capable, handsome. Yes. Yes, all that and more. And he's ambitious to a fault. Right after the Temerian delegation arrived in Loch Ween, his people began visiting the Nelfgaardian camp, regularly. Are you suggesting Maravel's a traitor? We are all entitled to communicate with the Ambassador without chagrin and openly, as court and diplomatic protocols allow. Yet the Count's multiple messengers, the letters traveling to and fro, it reminds me more of a complicated courtship. You're curious to know the content of those letters. I want you to learn the Count's plans. The man would sell his mother to please the Emperor. Find out what Maravel's messenger is carrying. If treason is involved, you must alert John Natalis. You will be generously rewarded, I assure you. You need a Witcher to do this? Do not underestimate Count Maravel. He does not employ common scoundrels, and I don't intend to either. Hieronymus Lash. Sound familiar? A pretentious invented name belongs to a bard or a mummer, I'd say. But you wouldn't need my help with either of those, so I'll venture a guess. Merivel entrusts his correspondence to a mage. I knew you were suited to this task. The magic barrier placed over the city mutes all forms of high magic, preventing Lash from contacting Shillard remotely. He nevertheless remains dangerous. 
During the times of the previous conclave, I believe he was caught practicing black magic. He faced execution, but that Laos Maravel saved him. How do I locate this messenger? Look for my man Aldridge by the fountain here in the camp. He'll point the mage out to you. All right, I'll look into it. My lord, we know where they are. What are your orders? Bloody wonderful day. Assemble your men and resolve this once and for all. Kings. Gather your gear. We're off to hunt. Met many a baron. Horsons the lot of them. Kimbolt's different. So if anything happens to him, well, I'll gut you personally. Master Witcher! What do you want? My lord, the Right Honourable Count Maravel requests the pleasure of your company. He says it's urgent. Seems like everything is these days. Tell the Count I'll think about it. Be gone. You've no business here. You have it coming. Aldrich, Baron Kimball said you'd point Hieronymus Lash out to me. Perfect timing. Come with me. One day, someone will get you in a dark alley. Where's Lash? Patience, mate. They should be here any minute. Look, there. I've done my bit. Up to you now. Got a tail. Stop him. Stop there, white one. What if I don't? Then I'll fucking help you! I'd like to see you try. Consider it done! the one. Kill him!
Ah! Lights are approaching. Etiquette is not your enemy, Witcher. It would not hurt you to embrace it at times. In any case, I could not help noticing you circulating in and out of Baron Kimbolt's quarters. Yet I wonder if you are fully aware of the kind of man you serve. What do you mean? He cuts a fine figure, doesn't he? The heavy cloak, the silver mane, the booming voice. Yet our worthy Baron is hardly the saint he makes himself out to be. A lot of that going around recently. I am in possession of certain information that might interest you. Mm -hmm. And you want to share it because... We come from different worlds, Witcher. On the surface, we are as unlike as wraiths and wyverns. Yet, no matter our preferences, culinary, political, erotic, ultimately we both are interested in and tirelessly seek one and the same thing. The truth. You can talk, Count. I'll grant you that. But I'm not convinced you can be trusted. Baron Kimbold also offered me the chance to learn a certain truth. I don't think I need to say who about. And you are certain that Kimbold can be trusted? So far, all the Baron's words have proved true. Well, then I nearly ask that you verify mine. You are not the sole person to have repeatedly visited our kind-hearted Baron recently. Doesn't seem strange to me, given the time and the place. He has also had some more troublesome callers, blackmailers to be specific. Now, I'm not handing down any verdicts. Perhaps the Baron has some personal problems, in which case I would very much like to help him. Get to the point, Count. My people have learned where these blackmailers are encamped. I assume Baron Kimbolt has not been sitting on his hands and has also dispatched his huntsman to find them. A horrible man. I know who you mean. Ran into him in Kimbolt's quarters. Then you must also know that if you do not make haste, nothing will be left of our blackmailers, save some rotting corpses. I shall show you where they have their camp, and I merely ask that you learn what is at issue. Naturally, you can count on my gratitude, though we both know that is not the greatest reward. I can't promise you anything, Count, but I'll think about it. Farewell. Is a witcher a kind of sorcerer? What do you want? I saw you talking to Kimbolt. <laughs> I'm free to go where I please and talk to whoever I please. Couldn't agree more. Now you're here and you'll talk to me. I'm interested in the Baron. I've naught to say to you. Not good, because I need to know everything you know about him. Baron Kimbolt sends his regards. Oh, just what we needed. Leave us, Witcher. Since when does a witcher take orders from a huntsman? Since that witcher stopped hunting monsters and started poking his nose into others' affairs. Sometimes the stench is so strong you can't help but catch a whiff. Aye, well spoken. You've some common stinking thugs here, and I'm to teach them some humility. A ponce like you? 
Pucker up and kiss my arse, you fucking tulip! These folk have nothing to say to you, understand? I'll be the judge of that. Lend us a hand, Witcher. You'll not regret it. I'll need to know everything about Kimbolt. God, this is shit! Enough of your jabbering! Kill them all! Thanks, Witcher. We'd be corpses if not for you. Yeah, seems likely. Now don't make me regret helping you. You're welcome to all we know about Kimball. I'm all ears. We came here to collect our fee, me and me brothers, for a favor we did the Baron. What did you do for him? Spent four days in a forest, sitting on our asses. Baron Kimball wanted to pay you for that. Course not. We was to destroy some wagons in a caravan that was to pass through Millville. Problem is, Caravan never came round. I can see why you're having trouble collecting. Kimball had shite information. How is that our fault? That bugger lost us a right lot of time. And you know what they say, time is coin. What exactly were your orders? We was to watch the high road for a caravan carrying nobles. Two coloured wagons and a small escort. The wagons, they was ours. All inside was to perish. Any idea who was supposed to be in the wagons? Two high-born young'uns and their nannies. That's all the Baron told us. Willing to tell Natalis all this? I'm to fess up! They draw and quarter me! You didn't do anything. Took a job, that's it. They can't prove you actually wanted to complete it. If you refuse, Kimbolt wins. He'll squirm his way out of this, but it won't end there. The Baron's got gold enough to hunt you till he hunts you down. Not likely. I'll see them tear stripes off his back with hot pincers. All right, I'll talk to Natalis. True, true. No other term for you. Did you think I could let you go with that information? I truly regret it had to end this way. Witcher? Witcher? Forgive me, Count. I lost my train of thought. I'd like to talk. I found the Baron's blackmailers. And? Did Kimbolt knock up a peasant girl, a healthy one at least? Unfortunately, it's a national matter, not a personal one. May I know its essence? As a statesman, matters pertaining to Temeria are of the utmost concern to me. It looks like Kimbold hired this group to murder Anais and Busi. Thank the gods they were only half successful. Hmm. This group didn't kill anyone. The convoy carrying Foltest's children changed course. It never arrived where our blackmailers were waiting. I know the Baron. He approaches things comprehensively. He must have enlisted a second group which accomplished the terrible deed. Whichever way you cut it, Kimbolt's a traitor, pure and simple. Oh my, must have hit the old man pretty hard. The Baron doesn't know yet. What are you waiting for, Witcher? Make haste. You must deliver the evidence to the Interrex. Actually, I was hoping you'd do that. I need to tend to some other matters. Knowing the Constable, I fear he would look upon any accusation I made with distaste. He could very well assume I was merely trying to subvert a natural rival. He might see the evidence as doubtful, even fabricated. But we cannot allow a traitor to play an important role during the summit. Yeah, I guess we can't. Besides, to witness the fall of the Honorable Baron Kimbolt, I don't know if I could bear it. I 
I gotta admit, Count, your clearly feigned concern for Kimball. Well, it makes me wonder. Yes, I suppose it must. Goodbye, Witcher. Farewell, Count. by your ambulance, Witcher. Or rather, I would have been there when no. nothing had happened here. Yes? What is it? Uh, nothing. I'd like to talk. Maravel's letters pretty much confirm your claim. The Count is a traitor. What was in those letters? That information is for Constable Natalis. State secret. I'm sure you understand, Baron. Dog catcher with a hook. There's a traitor among the Temerians. Careful, Witcher. You'd better have evidence if you plan to accuse someone of treason. Boosie and Anais. Yes? Count Maravel outright betrayed Temeria, while Baron Kimbold planned to murder Foltas's children. Those are serious charges. Kimbold hired some thugs to do the wet work for him. I found them, and one's ready to testify. They never got the job done because the convoy carrying the children changed course, only to fall into an ambush sent by Maravel. The Count wanted to hand Anais and Boosie over to the Nilfgaardians. You'll find the proof in this letter. Boosie's death was an accident. Dark clouds gather over Temeria. I cannot arrest them both. Their contingents are among the largest in Loch Muin, and I cannot risk mutiny by their men. Thank you, Witcher. You did well to bring this matter to my attention. I only hope Baron Kimbolt will agree to stand with me. So you see, Baron, I have learned all. And it makes me sick to think about it. However, you may count yourself fortunate, for we've a greater problem to deal with. You shall provide me with your full support as we arrest Count Marival. This plea sounds more like a threat to me, Constable. It is no plea. It is an order. And yes, a threat. Refuse, and the Council of Regents shall receive ample evidence of your crime. Of your wish to slay the children for whom our King gave his life. What are your terms, Natalis? Upon returning to Vizima, I shall destroy the evidence against you. Prior to that, however, I expect your unconditional support. How can I be certain you will do as you pledge? My words still mean something, unlike yours, you lying, rotting son of a whore. So be it. But heed this, Constable. Do not try to cross me.
Brigitte Papabrock. She gave me some pretty good leads. Tell me. Baron Kimbold hired some thugs to murder the royal bastards. Son of a bitch. Falters never trusted him. Turns out he was right not to. It was Count Merivel who kidnapped Anais. He wanted to hand both children over to the Nilfgaardians, but Boosie was killed. Damn it all. Radovid is one thing, but Nilfgaard? When I get my hands on Merivel... You won't. I delivered the evidence against both of them to Natalis, but the constable decided to ask Kimbolt for help and arrested Maravel. Wise. There will come a time for Kimbolt as well, but Maravel needed to be removed immediately. A traitor is a traitor. They should take off his head. Can we go? Let's do this. Deathmold is a dead man. I'm guessing you don't have a plan. In fact, I do. We need to kill Deathmold and rescue the royal child. You never did like playing it by ear. I learned from the best. See that? Deathmold's put up that magic barrier again. Apparently not a single sound seeps through. I dread to think what he's doing inside. Why are you here? We have business with Deathmold. The sorcerer is busy. No one's to disturb him. Recognize me? Should we? Of course you should. Unless you don't care about being promoted. <laughs> Who are you? Now! My banquet. I don't want any unwanted guests. Quickly, up top! Help me up! The low road's yours. I'll take the walls. Close that cursed gate! Tighter! Tighter! Hang on! Defend I'm the nearly unblocked! Backward! 
woods. Positions, you horse sons! Close ranks! One crime that all civilizations consider irredeemable and unforgettable. Regicide. A transgression of laws both human and divine. A blow to the vital organs of society. That is why those in power create bloody havoc and wallow in it. They are never punished. Not subject to moral judgments, they stand above the law. Henselt's blood now stains Roach's hands and mine. I could have stopped him, but I didn't want to. Now Hensel is a cold corpse, and the blue stripes in the world beyond are laughing. Radovid's retinue. I swear the snot-nosed lad thinks he's king of the world. He should never have shown up here after the recent events in Redania. 
Honestly, if he grows to be another Vizimir, I hope he ends up like the first. And those robes of his, did you see? <sighs> All right, there's time for one more. Hats off. You've broken my arm! You've broken my arm! Do you know it's worth, you son of a bitch? Now it's worth shit like the rest of you. What do you want? I'll give you anything. You can't give back what you took from me. Cutting off your balls and slitting your throat will have to do. No! <laughs> Reap what you sow. He forced me! Are you alright? I am Vernon Roach of Temeria. This is Witcher Geralt. She's terrified. If Deathmold touched her, I'll kill the son of a bitch all over again. What'll you do with the child, Vernon? I made an arrangement with Radovid. And Vernon Roach always keeps to his word. Kings only keep their promises when it suits them. We saw him together. You heard what he said. You didn't have Anais then. Now you do. Take a minute. Consider your options. I'm a soldier, not a diplomat. Well, you need to start thinking like a diplomat. You're about to decide to marry his future. Do you trust Radovid? I want to believe kings don't generally spout nonsense. Kings never say what they mean, only what they want you to hear. What would Radovid gain by allowing Temeria to remain independent? Well, he married the eldest of Foltest's daughters and will wait until she bears him a child. In which case he'll marry Anais off to one of his barons. If Ada fails to produce an heir, he'll rid himself of her. He'll marry Anais and unite the two kingdoms. Anais is not of age. But she will be. The Kingdoms United could even resist Nilfgaard. Anais won't don the crown anytime soon. A lot could happen in the meantime. A lot could change. True enough, but you can't predict everything. Still, it might be worth trying. What else could you do? Nothing. I either break my pledge to Radovid or honor it. Suppose you break it. I'll make another enemy. Enemies are something you can handle. You said so yourself. The Temerian delegation is in Loch Muin. Maybe we should consider handing the child over to them. John Natalis. Good soldier, poor politician. Natalis may not be the most polished diplomat, but both your grandmothers tilled the same soil. Your grandfathers fought side by side. By taking the child to John Natalis, I'll spark a civil war. The barons won't acknowledge her right to the throne until they feel a boot on their neck. I don't claim giving her to the Temerians will solve all your problems. But freedom's precious, Vernon. One of those things you don't appreciate until it's gone. Considered what they'll say in Temeria when they hear Vernon Roach handed their crown princess to the head of a foreign state? If Radovid keeps to his word, they just might name a holiday after me. Careful, Vernon. It's a slippery slope. You could easily be branded a traitor, and brands are tough to scrub off. I guess you're right. Dishonored I'll be no one. Not in Temeria, not anywhere else. The Talus it is. Come, child. I'll take you to a safe place. Hmm. 
Looks like someone's provided an escort. In the name of King Radovid, we demand that you hand over the child of Louisa Lavalette. We're headed elsewhere. Not my concern. My orders are clear. We are not Radovid's subjects. His orders don't apply to us. If you won't come peacefully... Look around before you threaten us again, you fool. So, to the Temerian camp? We've lost a lot of time. The talks have probably begun. Come, child. At least that scumbag is no longer fucking living. Only I know who killed Hansel. Death mode is different. Remember, he had many powerful friends. As head of the special forces, I've always had powerful foes. Somehow, I managed to deal with them. <laughs> you never know how the Temerians will receive Anais. She's a royal blood, and that should be enough. Many in Temeria believe the bloodline ended with full taste. What are you trying to tell me? That some of your countrymen may already see themselves as the founders of a new dynasty. If you want to find me, I'll be at the talks. See you, Vernon. So, even the Nilf Guardians have graced us with their presence. This will be a great moment. Ready? Let's get this done. Temeria is internally divided. As Constable of Temeria, I'm in no position to speak for the whole country regarding the Council and the Conclave. I am honored to speak on Temeria's behalf before this esteemed body. But I'm only the Constable. I cannot be sure some Baron won't cancel my signature in a week. What's your point, Constable? I lack my country's support regarding the Council and the Conclave. Neither do I intend to seek the Crown, for I've lesser blood in my veins. And, as a soldier, I know my place in the ranks. In recent weeks, we have deliberated extensively in Vizima on who is to succeed to the Temerian throne. Because the fate of Foltest's last child remains unknown, we could not reach an agreement. Unable to reconcile the interests of the esteemed Temerian houses, we have no choice but to divide the country into provinces 
along the barony's current borders. Noble attendees, I ask you to forget the words I uttered mere moments ago. Behold, Anaïs Lavalette. Royal blood courses through her veins. She is the rightful heir to the Temerian throne. This child is a bastard. The girl will go to Vizima, where she will be presented to the nobility. She is yet too young to rule, but our laws of succession make provision for such cases. Do you think the child will ever sit on the Temerian throne? The Talis won't let her be harmed. We did all we could. To the matter at hand. The document describing the Charter of the Council and the Conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the Charter found in the ruins on Thaned Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate royal advisers. Today, randomly chosen majors and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous Conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisors? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The Conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And that they will keep the Conclave's interests in mind. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed as well as by all but one of the designated advisers. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you should be allowed to designate advisers to cowherds at most. That is true, Your Majesty. My kings, before you sign this document, please hear me out. Excellency, with all due respect, this matter does not concern Nilfgaard in the least. I am here at King Hensel's bidding. Will you deny my right to speak? What is the meaning of this? This man tried to kill me this morning. He attempted to take an Imperial envoy's life in your lands. I presume he was interrogated. He confessed. Faltest and Demiven died by his hand. He also revealed the identity of his employers. Sorceresses. They helped me with my assassinations. Speak on. The Lodge of Sorceresses sought to remove those rulers who acted against the will of mages. Lodge of Sorceresses. We have compiled a list. Philippa Eilhardt, Margarita Loantil, Tris Merigold, Kira Metz, Francesca Finderbear, Ida Emin, and finally, Sheila de Tanzavir. To my deepest regret, two Nilfgaardian sorceresses, Sira Bar Anahid and Fringa de Vigo, were also members. The Emperor will deal with them accordingly. Majesty, what's the meaning of this? Arrest them all. Your document will have to wait, Honorable Sorceress. You have no right. Surrender now if you don't want another massacre, this time in Loch Muin. A court of law will reveal the traitors. 